of the state of Jalisco here in Mexico. Estoy tan emocionada de estar acá. So, voy a estar hablando español e inglés porque hablo los dos idiomas y por qué no. Pero ahorita hay un gran calor. Entonces, claro, antes de ir a explorar, me quise ir a agarrar una paleta. Ahorita estoy en el Museo Cabañas. Voy a ir a explorar la historia de este edificio y les contaré más. So the artist behind the murals here in Museos Cabañas is Jose Clemente Orozco. He painted since he was a kid. His inspirations came from landscape and architecture, um, and then he learned mathematics, which helped him with the murals, all the complexity of just perfecting his murals. I mean, you guys saw those, those were incredible. And this artist actually only had one full hand. The other one, he lost his fingers, and he never gave up on painting. Painting was his passion. There's actually this quote that says, if I wasn't a painter, I would have wanted to be a painter. <laughs> and I thought, wow, like, he knew what he wanted and that's all he ever did. His, his work is, is pretty eccentric. Um, so there's a lot of history behind this place. So I figured I want to choose one location where I'll learn something um, that I would have never really learned otherwise just by, you know, reading online or I don't know, like it, it was just cool to actually see this artwork um, and, and know about the artists behind the murals in Museo Cabañas. <laughs> ringing. Uno de los lugares que quería visitar cuando vine acá era la Plaza de los Mariachis. Atrás. Está a cuatro minutos de uh, el Museo Cabañas. Cuatro minutos caminando. Entonces voy a ir a, voy a, ir a escuchar mariachis. <tose> I'm in this restaurant called Los Siete Pozoles and you get to choose all of these type of pozoles. They have seven, of course. Um, I went with pozole de camarón. Estoy emocionada de probar el de camarón. No tengo idea dónde estoy o dónde voy, pero vi que había una iglesia acá que se veía hermosa de lejos, entonces <laughs> seguí caminando. I saw this lady buying these ice creams and I'm like, these look interesting. <laughs> um, so they come in this like little, ¿Cómo se llaman? Estos helados de canuto. Helados de canuto, okay. Bueno, gracias. These are really good, it's cajeta. Ahorita acabamos de llegar al artesanal Tres Mujeres. Vamos a aprender de tequila y cómo se hace y todo eso. Entonces va a ser un buen tiempo. Deben de plantar en una forma lineal con un metro de separación aproximadamente y ahí deben de esperar hasta que la planta alcance su punto de madurez. Esta bebida únicamente se puede producir con este nombre en cinco estados de nuestro país. Viene siendo Jalisco el principal productor. Bueno. También está Nayarit, Guanajuato, no sé. Tamaulipas y Michoacán. En caso de que alguien tuviera su cultivo de agave, este, hiciera la bebida con el mismo proceso, pero que estuviera en otro estado o en cualquier otra parte del mundo, ¿de qué pueden hacer la bebida? Los pueden hacer, pero 
nombre y podrían poner el nombre de tequila. El nombre que recibiría es destilado de agave. Ahora vamos a voltear acá oh, wow. Miren, aquí tiene la tina receptora de jugos. Ya cuando obtenemos todo el jugo de la piña, va cayendo aquí y luego ya de aquí lo pasan al área de So she gave us tequila and she poured it in our hands and then we had to just like rub it on our hands and it didn't smell like alcohol, it smelled like wood and agave. That means that the tequila is high quality. Anytime you drink a cheap tequila and it smells like alcohol, obviously it's bad. It's like, but I'm like smelling my hands and it's, they smell really good. Pidi solo poquito porque muy fuerte. The first you breathe. dependiendo de cómo cambia el clima o la temperatura ambiental que puede ser desde 3-4 días o extenderse hasta toda una semana. En pocas palabras lo que pasa aquí es que los jugos se echan a perder y obtenemos el alcohol. Vamos a continuar. Um, so as you can see it keeps going down, so we're gonna go down. Hopefully I didn't have too much tequila and I go rolling. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> Ahorita ya terminamos el tour de tequila de tres mujeres y ahorita vamos a ir a comer. Um, por 180 pesos es un buffet de comida típica de Guadalajara. Entonces estoy emocionada de comer todo porque voy a poder probar pozoles, sopes, um, tortas ahogadas, aguas frescas, bastantes cosas. Entonces estoy mm, emocionada. Ya lo dije, ¿verdad? Pero la comida me emociona. time I ever order room service so I enjoyed myself at Tequila Jalisco if you guys are ever in Guadalajara I suggest you guys go with Visitar Jalisco tour guide was so fun like not only was she a tour guide but she became our friend I'll leave their description down below this isn't sponsored but I really had a good time and it was only about 390 pesos so glad that I went to go do that because I just came here for talent land and I was gonna explore downtown Guadalajara, which you guys saw. It's kind of like hesitant to take a tour by myself. And then I'm like, Carla, like that's the experience of going solo traveling. So I'm really glad that I did that. Anyways guys, I'm gonna enjoy my room service. Mm, look at that expensive meat, fish, salmon. So it has a little bit of rice, some pineapple, plantains, and dessert. Like Cher says, I don't need dessert. I want dessert. And that's the dessert I want today. By the way, if you guys are in Guadalajara, the Weston is an amazing hotel and their service is fascinating. I mean, come on. Look at that. Look at that. Mm. Okay, I'm ending the vlog. No, I just, I just feel like I earned the right to treat myself to a solo trip to Tequila Jalisco and then enjoy room service because the reason I'm here in Guadalajara is because of my hard work and being able to be at talent land as a public speaker. So public speakers eat fancy meals in their bed, right? That's what they do. I think, I, I think that's what they do. <laughs> I feel so fancy. Dessert burst. <coughs> mm. Or dinner. <sighs> it smells so good. for dinner. Me and my robe. Okay, oh, I need a knife. Ah! I got some plantains and rice. Wow. That tastes like it costs 20 bucks per plantain. Mm. Got some pineapple up in there. Mm. Living the life. 